Hi, I'm here. Thank you for waiting. Sorry for the delay. I just wanted to go and quickly make Hi. myself a, a tea. So let me get this text off the screen now. Oh, yeah, I needed to do a flight. I've been waiting to do one for a while. And uh, today's the day. This is our plane then. The uh, Let me get inside. It's quieter. So yeah, this is our plane today. Boeing 737-800. Um, and we're going to be taking it from here in Barcelona. Wow, the sound insulation inside this is really good. <laughs> Thankfully. Um, maybe a bit too good. Is, is sound insulation inside a cockpit this much, this good? I don't know. Um, maybe we should be hearing more of the outside world. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so we're going to get this fired up and we're going to fly to Madrid. Uh, it's about an hour, one hour flight. And I think we're going to be doing around 29,000 feet on this one. And uh, yeah, do with the Boeing because it's a bit of a change from the Airbus that I've been using um, the last few times. So let's just get the initial thing fired up. Yo ho! Gain damage. How you doing, my man? I have to re remember my way around this plane now. <laughs> Honestly, I, I I fly Airbus. I come back to Boeing, and I'm in uh, my brain's in Airbus mode, and then vice versa. You know. Yeah, it's. It's a thing. Your damper too early for that. It'll just click itself off, I'm pretty sure. So we'll get that on. Yeah, I'll put that. I like to put that one on because, because yes. Uh, right, we already know that it's 29,000 feet this flight. Might as well set the, this. This is to do with the cabin pressure up here. Um, we can get the window heats on and the probes I don't think we're going to need those too much but yeah let's get them on anyway we'll have the seat belt signs on so that when on auto yeah when the passengers do come or on uh, we will uh, have that ready now we do have I think do we have see-through jetways here it looks like Yeah, so we might even see the passengers get on board this one. Doing bounty hunting like a madman. <laughs> I'll be an elite later. That's the plan anyway. How am I doing? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Ask me uh, once I've had my checkup. But yeah, my, my left arm's a little bit achy. I don't know if that was because I was working on handbrake adjustment on my car yesterday. I've got it all jacked up at the moment. And I was, yeah, I don't know if it's down to that or just uh, an impending heart thing. Who knows? If I suddenly go quiet, you'll know which one it is. <clears throat> right. Um, oh, yeah, we need to be here. I'm trying to think, what do I do next? And of course... It's here. <clears throat> so let's bring the uh, data in from Simbrief. Barcelona to Madrid. Oh, we've got location on, haven't we? There we go. So Barcelona, Zaragoza. Yeah, the Z is a TH. Zaragoza. Zaragoza, uh, we're going to fly below that. Guadalajara. And into uh, Madrid. I have flown into Madrid in real life. But I flew in from Bilbao. Oh, that would have been a good flight. Bilbao to Madrid, because I've done that flight before. Toledo, been there. I, I went here, and there was a restaurant. I don't know if it was halfway up a mountain or whatever, because you get snow here in Toledo. And it was the first time I had swordfish. I tried swordfish, and it was really nice. So I just thought I'd let you know. I wonder if the place I used to live is around... Is, it's a very small place, or whether it's on the map. La Pueblo de Montalban, it's not 
that area. Mahada Honda. Okay, so it's that's close. I've been there. Mahada Honda. I've been there a few times. Driven there when I lived in Madrid or near Madrid. Las Rosas. Ah, Torrelodones. This is where I lived. I lived here. Bialba. Yeah, Galapaga. Yeah, my nephew went to school there. Yeah, Torrelodones. That's where I used to live. Which is just northwest of Madrid. So it's about 40 minute drive into Madrid. Which I did a few times. Yeah. Rusty's got history there. So. That's today's flight. And the departure. Weather. We have the arrival weather. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember guys. Fuel. Because the EFB on the air, on the Airbus now, it kind of it does all that stuff for you. It fuels the plane and everything. And by comparison, this looks rather simplistic. Um, yeah, let's get into here. I'm going to do it from here. Ooh, now then. Do we have the right aircraft? All right, we we need the two, the twin cabin thing. Uh, let's see. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Performance improvement package, okay. Yes, two class. That's what we wanted. We have it. Cool. Let's go back to menu here. And FS actions and fuel. Now I can't I remember whether this one actually does the puts the fuel in the plane for you. I don't think so. I think that's the Phoenix. The so block fuel today is 6260. So how about we just go 63 on this? Okay. And Hey, hey, you can't use fuel. Anyway, um, and the payload, uh, I don't know. Let me have a look on Simbrief. It's just going to be easier and quicker. Let's go back here. Right, so passengers today, ooh, 99. All right, well, we'll put 12 in first class, so that gives us 99, that gives us now 89, 87, so 87 here. And then we've got the cargo, which is 2470, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 5, if we want to balance it out front and back. So 1, 2, 3, 5 in the front, 1, 2, 3, 5 in the back. That should give us 2470 overall, and that sets the weights correctly. Alright, so as far as the plane's concerned, it is ready to go. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but as far as it's concerned, it's ready um, in terms of its payload and stuff, fuel. Alright, so let's get the position of the aircraft in. We are in España. And we are at L E B L Barcelona. And we are at gate. Oh, did I put. Tw it's not 107, surely. It might be. Don't call me Shirley. Does GSX come up? It is gate 107. Yeah, I mean, it does say it on the visual display here, but. Wait a minute. Yeah, we're departing at one o'clock apparently according to this. This is our flight. Mm -hmm. Okay, 107. I wasn't aware I'd chosen that one, but it could be that I changed my mind after picking number 25 because 20... Ah, yeah, I did. Yes, 25 wasn't in the place I wanted it to be. So this is our coordinates right there. And let's get to the route of the problem. There, is there an A-tenth Thunderbolt? There is a 
you can get one. It doesn't come in the game, but I believe an, A an A10 is available, yes. Right, flight plan request, straight in. And I didn't put the flight number in, but that's okay. So we're flying... Hello. Oh. You don't want me to put the company route in, surely? Yeah, you do. Still have to do that? Hmm. Okay, I guess we still have to do it. So let's clear this. And we want to go to L E M D. Pop that in there. Yeah. That doesn't look right to me, but okay. Yeah, this is what we want. See this. Set. There you go. Set payload and set fuel. So it does it anyway. Yeah, that's the way you do it. But it wasn't accepting. I was clicking that button and it wasn't accepting it before. So that's six. Oh, yeah. So, okay. We've dropped a bit of fuel, but it's still enough. Um, right, let's clear the clear the scratch pad at the bottom, and um, if we go to departures, we are departing from. Let's have a look at the route. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so we're departing from twenty four left. Uh, taking the Senia 6Q, Senia 6Q, um, Sid, I've forgotten now, 24 left. So 24 left, and Senia 6Q, there we go, Seni. No trans, and go. And then if we go to the arrivals, we're arriving on runway 18 left via Adux 07B. Yeah. So we have to choose the runway first. So ILS Zulu 817 left via Adux 7B. Now we've got trans, we've got three choices, Lula, Rilko or STE, is any of those here? No. So we're not going to choose them. Go. All right. <coughs> Should we get the, uh, the people to board? Let's get the uh, let's get the folks on board, shall we? Should be good watching them. Boarding requested. And let's see if it knows that there's only 99 people. Now we should be able to see them walking through here because it is all glass. So there is also a possibility I don't have a proper GSX profile for this airport, in which case people are going to be walking in the air. And you've got some... Are you going to stretch this far? Yeah. I think these red... Well, no, I don't know. I was going to say the red marks could be the extent where it can go, but... an interesting matchup. Oh. Impressive. Yeah. Pretty damn good. Alright. Let's see if we can have a look. As people start wandering down the corridor here. Uh, if I say no... Does that mean we're going to fly without a pilot? Right, I got myself onto this page somehow. I don't know how I managed to scroll it all the way down. 
Oh, I do have FS Realistic running as well, so you might hear some sound effects. Extra sound effects, maybe some old ones. Here they come. Yeah, just take your time, buddy. Not like we have a schedule to keep. Yeah, you see they are kind of walking below where they're supposed to. That's just down to the GSX profile not being correct for this airport. But Hello. 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 Right, um okay, so there's the flight plan in. Let's get this set up. I'll take this up to twenty-nine thousand. And then we're going to take a look at the charts to see what the uh, runway altitude is for the um, for the uh, destination airport. So let's do that here. Let's go to the charts here. And there's a couple of things I want to know. So we've got the departure airport. And we want the airport info. Is it this one? I always get mixed up which one it's on. Yeah, is it this one? No, I didn't think so. This one. So, yeah, so it's airport, not reference. They're not the reference one. So we're taking off from runway... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, give me a sec. 24 left. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether it was 24 left on arrival, but it isn't. It's six, 16 or, or 8 or 6 or 5 or, or 2. Yeah, so 24 left is where we're taking off from. Uh, we are currently situated... Oh. All right, on the Phoenix, it actually does show on this particular screen our plane's position. with a big blue arrow. Uh, we're not getting that here. Okay. Anyway, I think we are somewhere here-ish. I think that's where we are. Um, but yeah, so 24 left is 244 degrees. So that's going to be our heading out of here. Two twenty-four. Sorry, two forty-four. Sorry. All right, and our arrival airport looks like we're getting a shorter runway, two six, but should be enough. So on arrival, there's a few. Oops, there's a few things I want to know. Approach. Right, so we want ILS Z Zulu 18 left. Uh, and, oh, this is different. This looks different. Oh, weird. It's the same information, it doesn't matter, it just, it's just, it just looks weird. Normally this information's at, tagged onto the bottom. Okay. Whatever. Right, so, runway elevation is 1922. So, we need to pop that, oops, too high. So, 192, the closest I can get here is going to be... I guess that. Do you round up or round down? No, no, it's not going to matter. Let's round, let's round it down there. 1900. Okay, and decision altitude. Well, straight in landing. I think we are. Aren't we C? Isn't this plane C? It's a 2151. Let me just make a note of this. Oh, 
How, how much higher is that? 229. Okay. So 215, 2151 feet, decision altitude. Uh, and we also want the ILS frequency. Morning. Which is going to be. Well, it's up at the top here, 111.5, but it's also here. 111.5. And the final approach course is 180. Dead on perfect. And what else do we need for this? Refer to minimums. Da -da -da. Uh, runway elevation, airport ele See, Yeah, so the airport is a bit higher than the runway. That can happen. Transition altitude. Wow, okay. So the TA coming in is 13,000. What I didn't do is check what it was for um, Barcelona. What are we flying out on? Senic. Senic 16. Oh, finding these, man. If it's not the first word like here, then it's going to be mentioned elsewhere. Uh, right, it's Senior 6Q. Does that count? <coughs> Not going to matter for this particular thing. 6,000. Oh, weird, isn't it? <coughs> Transition altitude is 6,000 leaving Barcelona, but an hour's flight away, it's 13,000. That's really weird. I'm right next to her. Thank you. Well, this says transition altitude by ATC. It does, it does, it does. Transition level by ATC, but this is the one we're coming in on, a Duxo 7B. But on the final approach here, we have transition altitude 13,000. Well, I'm, I'm going to go by that. So 6,000 is going to be our final before we start descending on the glide slope, hopefully. All right. Right. Cool. And all that stuff. Don't need that. Right. Air pressure then. We have... Okay. Zero, nine, 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 nine. Fair enough. All the nines, there it is. And I'm going to do this on this side as well. Oh, it already has done it. Awesome. Has it set it here? It has. E, that's brilliant. Right, so we've got the cruise altitude, we've got the two pressure, uh, the two altitudes here for the cabin pressure. Um, also, decision altitude, we'll put that in while we're flying. Same with the ILS frequency, which we'll stick in down here. And the approach course, which we'll set later as well. All right. I fancy a little bit of lighting on my panel, though. A little bit. It's a little bit dark. It's a bit cloudy outside. Uh, you bought another little goodie. 27-inch 1440p screen. Finally got rid of my 720p. Oh, nice, man. I'm using that. I'm using 27-inch 20, 1440s as well. I saw a lovely one yesterday uh, somewhere. If it was Amazon or 
Facebook advertising or something. Um, it pretty much had no basil at all, and it was uh, nice, yeah. I can't remember the manufacturer, though. I don't think it was anything I've heard of. So it's probably a uh, Yakshumi or... <laughs> I don't know. Right, let's just light up this just a tad as well. Um, and we want to get the uh, thing on. The thing, the uh, TCAS. You know, do I have a camera for this? There we go. Right, so I want that in... No, there. I think T-A-R-A -A is enough, but... Sorry, T-A... I think T-A only is enough for here, but T-A-R-A, -A, which is basically transmitting and receiving. Transmitting and receiving. All right, well, I think if we just put in the performance details on here now, um, and go through all of this, so... Cruise altitude is 290. Will you accept 290? Yay! Uh, yeah, the cruising wind. Now, I don't know whether you... Do you put an average here, or do you have to just put the cruise and the wind level currently known at cruise altitude? I mean, I think so. So, well, I'm going to do that anyway. Because that's, that's what I know how to do. So, what is the current wind at cruising altitude? Well, we're cruising at 29,000. So, top of climb, 29,000. It's 231 degrees, 104 knots. Eek, that's a little bit windy. So, and is it going to be minus 44 degrees? 231, 104. So, 231. And 104 knots. be a wee bit gusty minus 44 which is just what it says there very nice uh, yes yeah, so transition altitude uh, for t takeoff is 6k I bet they don't say 6k in the in in the uh, pilots world reserves I'm gonna leave Kind of feel for that. Oh, cost index. Good question. Good question. I didn't check. It should be up at the top. Cost index 63. Seriously? Okay. I still didn't put my bloody flight number in, though, did I? Right, so back to the index. We've done position, we've done performance. Uh, we need to do takeoff. Uh, so flaps. This <laughs> I'm having to remember um, the flaps. Okay, flaps five. I'm gonna go. I have to remember the flaps because I'm still thinking Boeing in terms of like it being one, two, and three, and then full. Uh, but this doesn't do one, two, and three. It's it's got more stages. You know, you've got. Um, 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, and 40. Uh, flaps 30 will use for landing, unless it's a really short runway, in which case we'll go 40. I doubt that's going to be the case at Madrid, but we can check it out. Anyway, we go to our arrival runway. Um, uh, does it tell us here? Oh. So if we go to the airport details... Um, and we're looking for, not the briefings. Airport. And we're coming in runway 16 left. Oop, got a delay here. Okay. Man, look at this plane shaking. Oh, I know, that's a uh, thingy. That's FS Realistic doing that. So we're coming in on runway 16 left. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. Are we? Hold on a minute. 
18 left. Sorry, my mistake. So it's got to be one of these up and downy ones. So 18 left. 3,500 meters. That's plenty. So yeah, flaps 30. Uh, so the CG is going to be that. And the trim will be 4.4. Let's get that set. Not too far away from it at the moment. There we go. 4.4 on the trim. And that's it. The, the, only, the other thing we can do is set the approach information if we want, but we don't have to do that yet. Well, all I can do is tell it that um, my landing, I've got three choices. I can land with flaps 15, 30 or 40. I'm going to choose 30, so we're going to click that. And we're going to pop that into here. And yeah, that's it. So let's get back here. Right, um, I'm pretty sure we've got everything programmed in here. So I'm just going to now go to the plan view. And we're going to just step through the flight plan and just make sure everything here is tallying up nicely. Uh, so let's, oops, actually I can close in a bit and let's just step step through here so basically going west for, for the most part we've got our diesel there aha we have a discontinuity here from lula to Baxit. okay can we uh, take a look at this in a little bit more detail? Yeah, it's not quite what I wanted though, is it? <laughs> That's a bit cluttery. Ah, uh, okay, there we go, there's the brake. Right, I don't see an issue joining those up. So we'll just grab Baxit, move it up one, and execute that and that's good to go and let's carry on stepping through Lula bags it and straight in runway 18 left straight down coolio absolutely fine EO. and also we're gonna set 6,000 coming in backs it and then there's 5.4 nautical miles and another 12 from FI 18L to the runway this is good this gives us 12.3 miles we can start setting final flaps getting the wheels down around five between five and seven nautical miles off the runway we can get the wheels down get the final flaps engaged into 30 and yeah hopefully bring it in this is now too dark right okay let's go let's get pushy backy um, the jetway we can get rid of that do it with this. Operate jetways and release the ground power. No, 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 don't do that. I'm not ready for it yet. No, don't. I haven't got my APU up yet. You're gonna you're gonna take away my uh sorry, I had my throttles at full there. It'll take away all the power on the plane. Right, so heading out is good. Oh, performance let's have a look I forgot to check something here um, climb cruise descent oh yeah 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 the winds and we get them come on now I forgot about the winds so we'll request those. This is not correct either. This is our descent forecasts, right? So it's not the climb. And on the on the descent, we have it's a thirteen thousand transition level. There we go. All right. So the winds are in for the descent. Nothing on the climb. Um, 
I am not happy with this though. Hold on. Take off. Right, here we go. So what V2 speed is 142. So I'm just gonna plug in that speed here with a little bit of buffer. I'm gonna go 145 on that. Uh, flight directors on on both sides. Auto throttle armed. To remember my autopilot buttons are over here not here like the <laughs> like the phoenix um okay let's bring that down to about 10 for taxi back to map mode here and we'll also get we don't have constraints on this it's yeah i don't know i think they must just appear but it looks like we're taking off here and immediately moving i mean I won't be able to match that straight away, but we're immediately going to be tracking over to, well, 244. Two, four. Yeah, we're going to have to immediately track over to, no, that's not 244. This line, no way. If 360 is over here, this is about 180 something. 183, okay, that makes more sense. So, do we just start turning 244, 229, 183? I don't know, I guess so. <clears throat> I'll do that manually and then we'll just have the plane take over. Alright, I'm good. It looks like we're 20 feet off the ground already, which is probably the elevation of the runway. Okay, so let's get everything set here, let's get the APU switched on. Hold the button down to start, it should click back. It does. Mm. We'll put that into auto. The packs can go on once we've got the engines running. Your damper can go on now. Uh, we'll light up this panel a little tad. Tiny little bit. Tad. Tiny. And we're going to get the beacon light on now because we're going to be uh, firing up. Now, my lights, my landing lights. What was the button I choose? Choosed. Ah, I choosed those. Yeah. Cool. Right, once the APU is available, we should be notified. I think this middle thing will light up. Light up. AOC body for 200 bucks. Is that the new one? Yeah, that's not bad. That's a pretty good deal, man. There it is. Okay, switching power over to the APU. And now you can let the ground power go. Alright. We are no longer on ground power. And the airport's gone nice and quiet. It's got a hot bum. So ready to go. Now I think, I don't know whether you have to do this, I can't remember, but I'm going to do it anyway. So go into here, go into ground services, removing the chocks, which will also release the ground power anyway. Oh yeah, of course, got to set the parking brakes, otherwise it, it gets a bit... My, my button for that's a little bit shaky, don't know why. That's GSX complaining. Right, that's all the chocks removed. For some reason those cones are staying in place. I'm not sure why. So, question now is... Which way are we turning exactly? Well... That's a good question. Um... I wish I could answer it. So we are I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go here first, right? And if we go to our departure airport, it's a little bit slowy. Wow. Why? Why? The more bandwidth I have, the longer the delay seems to be here. 
Okay, so if we go to the airport um, information, um, take a get a brief uh, plan of the orbit. Now we know that we're taking off from 24 left, right? And we know that 24 left. As we look at the airport like this, is this this here? Okay. So if we now go to this map we know we want to be here oh what a flipper this is so this is 24 left i don't know if we'll be able to see the marking yeah we can there it is 24 left so our taxiway is going to be along here up i guess yeah so we'll be i think we can just come straight down here so i think if we go nose right i can just i'll be facing that way and then I can just take a right turn. Yeah, so nose right. And then we're just going to follow. Going to follow this straight down. Go to the end. All the way to the end here. And then we'll be on the runway. Alright. I'm going to put that up there. And I'm going to... Get rid of it. <laughs> I might be able to find my way. Alright, so let's call for pushback. I think I've got everything ready. Oh, 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 I don't. Now I do. <laughs> yeah. APU bleed. Without that, we ain't going anywhere. Right, all the other fuel pumps on now. Pressure they have. What's these? Yeah, I was looking at this and I thought, forward entry, right forward over. Yeah, the door. Oh, it's closed. Okay. The door was open. Okay. Oh, it's that plane that's being noisy. My God. Rick, hey Rick, AOC makes a decent monitor. Yeah, I've seen some nice looking ones as well of AOCs. Predator. Oh, is she wanting me to do something? No. What's this plane over there? Set pushback direction. Direct direction? Facing east. Oh, great. So you don't do the thing anymore. Uh. Nose right, facing, e I, yeah, yeah, fa yeah, we want to face east, don't we? Yeah, because we're heading, yeah, facing east. What did she say, release parking brakes? Your wish is my command, my dear. But if you don't mind, I'm releasing, I'm releasing. So, if, if you don't mind, before you push, no, not before you push. Now you push. I want to see what this plane is. Is it Morocco? Oh, no, it's Saudi. Okay, thank you. Done. Finished. All right, how do you start the engines? Oh, yeah. Right, so we have to put that to there. Move out the way. Right, so we're expecting movement here. Right, so when it hits just 20, we'll inject the fuel into engine number two. And get that engine started. I love the shape of these engines, the intake, the way it flattens at the bottom. I don't know, it's just a nice shape. I don't know what it is about it, but yeah. So I think we're going down here, guys. We're going. We're going to taxi all the way down this down this route here to the bottom. Turn left, and then we'll, it'll get us onto the wrong way. So she's walking with the plane, eh? Oof. All right. Let's just make sure that we're up 
up to spec on that engine yes we are lovely lovely and we'll just wait for this button to oh it has flicked back okay okay that one get engine number one started again just monitoring N2 up to 20 so N2 is basically the the, the fan <coughs> and then N1 which we're gonna which will fire up now that we've put the injected the fuel that's the jet at the back <coughs> They had to do that for ground clearance. Um, what was that, Rick? What did they have to do? Sorry, it's probably something I've said that I've not remembered what I've said. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. She sounds like Fernando Alonso's sister. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, we have a good engine start. I can confirm. This is confirmable. So I shall confirm. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. We you do. can disconnect. Oh, the okay, the engine shape for ground clearance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Yeah, they are quite low to the ground now, you look at it. Yeah, I hadn't actually noticed that before. So the Airbus, I'll have to be interesting to compare that to the Airbus. So yeah, all this inside this casing is your is your N1 and your N2 is the uh, the fan here. I love that shape though. It's it's I don't know. It's nice. Iberia, man, one of Spain's primary airlines. I have flown on an Iberia flight. I flew from Marbella to Manchester on an Iberia flight and it was fine. What a bumpy landing though. The weather was crap. What a bumpy landing. Oh my god. I felt like I felt like doing a, a Pope John Paul when I got off the plane. I just wanted to kiss the runway, you know. Oh jeez. <laughs> right, if we've done everything right, then LNAV and VNAV should be working. Okay. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, so takeoff flaps are going to be five. Let's get those set now. And as those flaps are engaging, do we have cameras? There they go. And I've noticed those things under the wing there, those cone-shaped things, they lower as well. I guess it makes sense. <clears throat> Alright, so next thing we need to do is turn on the uh, taxi lights. And we can now turn off the APU, we don't need that anymore. I didn't, I should have done the generators first, that would have been very helpful, Rusty. Put the generator over first, then turn the APU off. Otherwise, you shut the plane down. Thankfully, it looks like we had a little bit of battery. <coughs> I hope everything is... <laughs> I don't like the fact that we've still got orange. Why have we got orange? Left forward overwing. Right forward overwing. But how? Yeah, operation restored. Uh, let me just have a look at this. We shouldn't, by this stage, we shouldn't really have any orange lights on the menu at all. Well, the doors are closed. They are closed, these... I don't know why we got those, but okay, hopefully they'll go away. I don't remember seeing those on here before. They're the only orange lights on. By this stage, we shouldn't have any. I think these are all to do with the doors. Do we have a test thing on this? Uh, yum, 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 yum. Do we have a test? There should be one. I just don't know where it is. <coughs> Basically, uh, a button 
that you can press and it highlights every single light on here. I don't know where it is. There usually is one. I just want to see if all the lights on here are relating to <clears throat> the the doors. I, I, I think so. I can't believe there's not a test button. Unless it's Surely. Okay. I mean, we have these, right? We've got this button to test all of those. We've got another one there for that one. All right, I'm just going to ignore it because the doors are closed. Right, so we need to be going down there, down there. Right, let's go. Um, what's the brake situation? All right, let's get underway. Uh, it's been a little while since I did the Boeing. Long enough for me to have to think about some some things that I need to do, rather than it just come to me straight away. It tends to be a thing. If I don't do something for a while, I'll kind of forget. Right, let's just make sure we are going all the way to the end, but I think we have to cross a number of runways here. So we're going to have to be on the lookout so that there's no planes coming in. Yeah, we're clear, what the hell. <laughs> yeah, we're clear, we're clear. Go, 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 don't stop. Nothing coming in that way. Nothing that way. And besides, on here, I would hope if I zoom out, it would show me anyway. Yeah. Anything coming? Nah, we're clear. Yeah. Although a plane can land quite quickly. But yeah, we're clear. You can hear the passengers in the back. So we're taking off here. Let's get the plane a bit more on the center line. We are travelling a little bit too quick for taxi speeds, really. But it's only a game. <laughs> the, uh, the wing shape for the F4. Also. Oh, I think that... I think that plane is also... in the... Uh, uh, available for this. I, um, F4 Corsair rings a bell. Or oh, the prop hits the carrier deck. Hmm. Well, it's it's pleasing to know that they do take these things into consideration, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get the design right. But yeah, I do I do like the shape of the of the Boeing's. Um, it's not on all Boeing's, though, is it? I think the seven eighty seven is is more rounded, like the Airbus. Right, so here we know we're going all the way to the end, and that's it. So we don't need this anymore. Oh, it's a, I could have got a tighter turn if I'd been slower. When, when the plane's traveling really slow, the turning circle on this is really good. What is that? Docks? Is that like shipping docks or something? What the hell is that? I'll we'll have to have a look at that later. I just saw it in the background and I, I wasn't sure what it was, but it looks like a lot of... Oh, is it a bridge? I don't know. We'll check it out. <laughs> it's kind of cool that it's there, though.
man, we're veering off quite quickly, aren't we? Elnav went off because I think of the, the, the shutdown that we did. The um, yeah. Well I didn't I didn't turn the I didn't tell the plane to be powered by the engines before I shut the APU off. Like an idiot. So this is a possible turning point though, but do we do it? Well, yeah we do but we venture off on this next one here I think all right so we're gonna hold here at the holding point good reason it's got a name like that and we'll get the landing lights on quite why that caused a jerky thing. Right, so everything is set. I think we're ready for takeoff. Um, there's a couple of things I need. I do need to do. I can never arm this thing. There we go. Auto brakes on, and we want to reset the fuel flow. Normally we do that on the runway, but do it here. Doesn't matter. Okay, so speed brake armed, auto brakes armed. I'm not sure whether the speed brake has to be armed. I mean, I think I do it in the in the Phoenix, the Airbus. Now, what's the taxi line here? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Nice to have a daytime flight as well, eh? <coughs> for a change. Go on, it's running out of steam. So once the flaps are retracted, the speed brake will come off. the center line a little but we're okay it was, a, it was a tight turn we've got a bit of a headwind you can see the windsock though it's 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 a little bit um, what would that be northerly yeah we're facing westish now but we're not dead on the center line no <laughs> I thought I drifted a little but I didn't think it was that bad okay that'll do so yeah the uh, it's we got a headwind-ish, but it's blowing a little bit to the side here, but okay, it's not enough for us to worry about. All right, I'm ready to go. Mm, am I happy? I don't know. I'm never happy. Let's go. All right, all right. What, 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 what? Because I have... Why? Is it the speed brake? I think it is. It doesn't want me. I, I, I see on the Airbus you, you do enable this, but it looks like on this you don't. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it did not like that armed. Let's go. Okay, we're stable. And... Yeah. Peanuts. Check. Rotate. I didn't check out that bridge, did I? Okay, rotate. Whoa, hello. How's it ready to climb? And gear up. Two. It looks misty over the sea there. Stay 
Traffic. Traffic. Ooh. <laughs> Flaps one. Tracting flaps. Why are we about to overspeed here? Oh, okay, we're good. Right, let's start pitching up again then. Still on manual control at the moment. Let's see if the autopilot is happy to take over. All good. VNAV, LNAV, N1, auto throttle. Lovely. Auto brakes can come off. There she goes. I never did see if that was a bridge. I think, I don't know. I guess it must have been. I forgot to check. That's how good my memory is. Adios, Barcelona. We've got Madrid's inland, so we're gonna have to do a little U-turn at some point. Well, this is some bad visibility here. But I love it, I love it, I love it. Looks like we have uh, a Wi-Fi. Um, antenna on as well. Yeah, pretty crappy weather actually. Right, so, um, ba -ba -ba -bum, let's have a look here. We've got terrain. Should work. Oops. We need to pull standard air pressure here. There we go. Forgot about that. Was too busy looking out, enjoying the view. So terrain is on. We should have cyan here, but maybe it's just not working at higher altitudes. Right, let's take a look at where we're going here. So we're going to be hitting flight level 290, which is our cruise. And we'll be there eh, for a little while before we start descending. We're eventually coming down to 6,000 feet. The runway is at 2,000, so... Wait a minute. Huh. We want to be around 3,000 above the runway, I would say. So runway is 2,048. Let's say 2,000. Add 3 gives us 5. Okay, that's what I'm going to go to. And in fact, I'm going to drop it a bit more. So my, my final descent altitude is going to be... 5,000 should do it though. I want to be 3,000 above the runway in order to capture the glide slope. So 2 plus 3, 5. And there's only a 48 feet difference. Maybe I go to 4, 8 or 4, 5 or something like that. We will see. Let's have a look at the uh, arrival. Ugh. Well, I hope we clear the clouds. I 
Yes, I don't have ATC switched on, Rick. Um, I don't have it switched on because it's the the mic the MSFS ATC is freaking annoying, and it's it doesn't really work with these study level planes very well. I don't think so anyway. So I, yeah, I do have it turned off. Uh, otherwise, yes, you're quite right. They would have called it out. Oh, we got rain. You can see on the glass there, the rain just streaking across. Yeah, you can just see the water look as it's hitting the the window and it dribbling, dribbling across it at high speed. Um, oh, I've got pins and needles in my hand, in my left arm. Come on, heart, stay with me. Yeah, it's rainy, but we have some clear clearness over here. Passenger. I have to just pretend this is full of people. Sometimes when people do the liveries for these planes, they also do the interiors as well. This one hasn't been done, but it would have maybe <clears throat> some Iberia markings on it and stuff. And maybe, you know, it would be Iberia here instead of PMDG. flying above the, the rain now. Let's take a look from the outside. Is 29,000 feet going to be enough to clear this cloud? Look at that! The clouds look amazing. Oh, hello, we've got another dude. Cabin altitude. Oh, Jesus, I didn't put the packs on, you see? I forgot. Oh, right, all my passengers are dying. What's the pressure in the cabin? <gasps> that people go off once the pressure goes down. I didn't put the packs on. <laughs> we need this pressure to drop. So I think this little needle is our... Is our actual uh, altitude and stuff and this is the the pressure in the cabin yeah I think we just asphy asphyxiated everybody lovely forgot to do the facts man can't be doing that it will settle the pressure will return and then you know everybody can come back to life again Once the pressure returns to normal, I think that's just going to go out. We killed everybody. Right, so let's just draw a veil over that and, uh, you know, just... That never happened. We don't have 99 suffocated passengers. So it's over here. Are we going to be turning that way? No, not any, not remotely soon. I think this, does this still point in the area of the airport, I wonder? I wonder. That would make sense. The airport would be somewhere in that direction, I think. Man, we're only 3,000 feet from our top altitude. See, what you could do here, if, if it was pretty crappy in the clouds or the weather-wise, whatever, you could request a higher altitude from ATC and say, you know, we want to climb up to 33 or something to clear the, the clouds, and then they can say, yeah, that's cool, or no, it isn't and then you can climb. 
but again, we don't have that. So top of climb is coming here, or we need to increase this, don't we? Yeah. I just... Well, <laughs> all the... Everybody in the cabin's like... <coughs> can't breathe! Sorry. Sorry. Your cabin pressure will slowly return to normal. Right now, it's... Oh, it's not good for them. Wait, is it going up? That's not good, but the packs are on now. Um. That should be going down. That's gone up, I think. Right, so the small needle, hold on, I can't get a bead on it because it's, um, let me see if I can do it this way, no, nope. alright, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do this manual, so we're going to move over to here, look up, alright, so this is the different, the diff, or differential, differential pressure between outside and inside, But it looks to me like, ah oh yes, okay, right, so this needle's going to stay where it is, this one's going to start coming down. Once it gets below, I think it's around seven, eight, seven, eight thousand feet pressure. Right now the cabin's feeling 12,000 feet of, as if you were still 12,000 feet up, that's the, the air pressure they're feeling. Once this gets down to around seven, eight, that should turn off the cabin altitude warning. Man alive. So yes, we need this to go to around here, I would say. And then that light's going to turn off. Sorry people. Now then, the question is, the descent altitude. It's, we are anchored at 6,000 on the way down here. Where is it? Here. 6,000 or above, and then 6,000 here. But after FI-118L, we can drop down to 2. But, well, no, the, sorry, the, reading it wrong. After, after FI-18L, uh, the runway is 2,048 feet. But if I want to pick up the glide slope, I think I'm going to have to drop below 6,000, despite what it says on the uh, on the thing here, which is no longer on Navigraph. So hold on, let me bring this up. Right. So this is Madrid. Oh, wrong one. Ass. Approach. Okay, so according to this, six thousand feet, and then we've got the three percent, three percent, three degrees glide slope path down. So that tells me we should establish the glide slope at 6,000. I don't want to go too far below that if I can help it though. But between here and here is 4,000 feet. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. I'm sure I read that it's, the, you know, the glide slope, you take it up. You, or you add 3,000 onto the runway. So, let's say that's 1,900. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, you see?
think I'm going to go 4.8. Yeah, I'm going to go 4.8 on this. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But it won't drop below 6,000 until after FI18L when there's 12 nautical miles to the runway. So after, after, the, after FI, it'll start dropping from 6,000 and it will get down to 4.8, by which point we should pick up the glide slope. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go. How's our cabin altitude doing? Okay, it's just under 10,000 now, so it won't be long before this disappears and all my passengers regain consciousness. Meantime, I want to just take the drone camera and just reset the position on this because it did go out. I'm moving it around to find the something. Oh, the Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia plane that was on the thing. I hate that fish eye look, it's horrible. It's better. Alrighty. Let's get back to where we are. And we're going to start descending sometime after this view. Which is... There. So top of descent should be... There? That can't be right. Oh, that's way too late. Nah. <laughs> I don't think so. But we'll see, we'll see. That looks way too late. But I'm not a pilot, so why would I question the plane? Oh, okay, the weather's cleared up here now. So I guess it was just over the, over the sea there. It was just manky weather but now it's not too bad here a lot of Spain is like this lots of brown a lot of the you'll, you'll notice uh, driving through Spain you get a lot of uh, like fields and the grass is more brown than green it does have a brownie look to it from well at least from where I used to live or what I noticed Push a straw through there. <laughs> no, it's not a hole. <laughs> it isn't. That would be weird. Oh, it looks cloudy over there too. I wonder what the weather is like in Madrid, by the way. Oh, we need to plan our descent stuff. Right, so 111.5 is our localizer frequency. Let's get that in. So what we're going to do is flip these two around, put in the frequency, 111, 5, and I'm going to put the zero in, and I'm going to flip it back. Right, that's the ILS to capture the glide slope, otherwise we won't do it, uh, to capture the localizer, sorry, otherwise we won't do it. And now we want our decision altitude, which is 2151. Oh, I'm going to enjoy putting that in. Uh, Let's see. That's down here, by the way, what we're going to be changing. The cabin altitude has now fixed itself. That's done. 
let's get this to 2151. Don't think there's a quicker way to turn this dial. Oh, is this quicker? I'm, I'm just holding shift key down, but I don't know whether it's quicker or not. Seems like it might be a little. Right, 2151 is set. Um, let's take a look at the cabin pressure. Yes, there you go. What's it now? Nine, eight, seven thousand. Yep, it's happy with that. The light is out. And people are alive again. Right, the other thing we need to put in is our approach course, which is 180. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Turn it on both sides. Man, my left arm is not right. Anyway, obviously it's my left arm can't be right, it's left. I don't feel quite right somehow. See, these are the test lights for everything here. Does it do up here? Oh, it does! There you go. Right, so these are the doors and the air stairs. Right, so that does all of the buggers. Okay. So this is 29,000 feet, that's 15,000. So in 39 nautical miles, we need to drop 14,000 feet. But this is 150 or above. So we can be above it. it, doesn't have to be 1500. And flight level 2900 is above 150. <laughs> so maybe the next proper constraint is 9,000 here. So as long as we're above these altitudes, we can be whatever we want. But I do find that the top of descent is coming a little bit late, but... So it's coming around just before Aduxo. Let's have a look here. Jeez. All right, well, I guess the plane knows what it's doing, so I'm just going to leave it to it. Let's take a look out. So where, where is Madrid from here, please? So a little bit to our left. going to be beyond this lot, so it may be over here. Oh yeah, 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 we were going to look at the weather, weren't we? Let's check it out. What are you doing? Are you turning? Oh Jesus, you got me worried there. You saw everything drop. Right, so our arrival weather. A few scattered clouds at 2,200 feet, broken clouds at 3,000. Eight degrees. That's uh, anti ice weather. <laughs> and uh, the Q and H is 996. Winds are 13 knots, gusting to 25. Visibility 999999. Good. 
can't be that bad then. Oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> So when we when we dip down to thirteen thousand, we'll uh, put the Q and H pressure in. I'm just going to grab some water, guys. Give me a sec. Blue skies. Much better than what we had in Barcelona, that's for sure. So, will this be a successful landing or will something go wrong? Stay tuned. Also, we want the uh, auto brake set as well before we come down. Everything else, I think, we're okay. Can't believe I haven't seen any flipping terrain on this thing yet. Ah, oh, the constraints come on with the data button. <coughs> Why am I only learning about this now? So we've got top of descent here and decel here. seen those so close together before. But it must be some kind of normal, otherwise it wouldn't be here. So only thing about not being a real pilot is you have to keep asking um, questions. Which is good. It's good to learn. Oh yeah, here we are. We do have the plane on the map now. Oh, there we go. Pamplona, where they do the famous bull run. And then they wonder why people get killed when the bull rams into them. Frickin' idiots. Yeah, I did this flight in real life, Bilbao to Madrid, taking off super early in the morning, and man, it was a sight above the clouds, wow. Sun just coming up, top of the clouds all gold, amazing. And then, down here we have Gibraltar, where I used to live. This little appendix here on the side. And La Línea de la Concepción is, or La Línea for short, is the town that's just across the frontier between Gibraltar and uh, Spain. So the moment you cross, there's the runway for Gibraltar's airport. And the moment you cross into Spain, you're in La Línea. 
and then you follow this road around San Roque up here then you've got Algeciras and this is a horrible there's a horrible um, industrial plant there which I'm assuming is probably still there pumping out crap from the chimneys horrible place horrible Ugh. poison Los Barrios yeah Tarifa popular beach there yeah So that's it, so we're just going to click over to the right and then we're going to sweep down and make a southerly landing. Can't wait. We're really scudding through the sky here. 312. Yikes. Coming up to top of descent. Well, let's see how this plane descends. Should have put the radios on, eh? Should we put them on? Yeah. Forgot about it. So we want Europe. No, don't bother updating. Europe. Madrid center. Go. Oh, that horrible voice. That is, uh, that's flight simulator. So we're tuned into Valencia now. That frequency we were on for Mad Madrid Center must have been the same frequency that MSFS has got, um, which is weird because I've got the voice turned off so I quite how it's still playing I uh, don't know but it looks like we're going cloudy again guys hopefully we'll well the, the weather report said that it was good visibility didn't it so yeah not too worried about that temperature outside minus 17 time to put your big jumper on <laughs> I don't think anyone's getting off now to be honest though This is the total route distance, right? This is not like remaining. So arrival predicted to be <coughs> 1317. Where's my clock? Oh, it's not a Phoenix, Rusty. There you go. Well, that can't be right. Can it? No. Ah, maybe we took off earlier than 1200 hours. So basically the flight is 1 hour 17 minutes, which is slower than what Simbrief had said. I didn't start the clock when we got going though. I should have I should have started it, but there you go. Okay, we have reached top of descent and we're coming down. So, next thing I want to keep an eye on is this. Make sure these two stay in line-ish. Oh, perfect at the moment. If we're below like we are now, I'm happy with that. Not too far below. Right, we're descending already. Didn't have to tell the plane to do it when we reach top of in the Airbus when you when top of descent comes you have to actually click the button for the plane to start descending in the Boeing you don't it just does it 
as long as you've got the altitude set here it will just do it and it amazes me that that the Airbus doesn't because the Airbus is more of a flying computer than this is yeah it's weird I prefer it this way where the plane will just descend maybe it's a safety thing maybe they they wanted it to be under pilot control or something who knows right so we're just a tiny tiny bit above but there's no number here so it's not significant good morning ish von doodle yeah early afternoon ish I'm eating a biscuit that's got way too much sugar in it why do they over sugar everything they put way too much sugar oh ridiculous they're trying to kill off the population Yeah, we're pretty much bang on here. So I'll keep an eye on that, make sure we don't get too high, otherwise I'm going to have to introduce a little bit of spoiler. And if I, if I do have to put the spoiler on guys, I will, I will warn you in good time before I do it. So, spoiler alert. <laughs> Uh, yeah yeah it is it's horrible too much sugar man it's like if you taste a Mars bar these days it's just it's, it's all sugar now it used to taste much better back in the day it'd be interesting to look at a Mars bar wrapper from say the 1970s and look at it today and see obviously there's a size difference they've shrunk it the bastards but also see the sugar content as well There's no reason to increase it other than just to... It's the worst thing you can put in your body. Worse than fat. Sugar's the worst, worst thing. Ugh. You get it everywhere. Even in baked beans there's sugar. Oh, it's raining guys again, look. It's just a bit. You can just see it flicking off the glass here, but we don't have it on the windscreen that I can that I can see. I don't think so. But yeah, it's a bit rainy here as well. Okay. I haven't had a Mars bar for years, and for that reason, just because it's too sweet. That's the only reason, yeah. Otherwise, I'm, I'm, I'd be okay with it. So five two fifty, fifteen two hundred, thirty one seven five. So five fifteen thirty, two fifty two hundred one seven five. Okay. I'm sure I won't remember that. <sighs> do 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 do. Oh. so many little tiny bits of paper that when I want the one that's got information on it that I'm specifically looking for I can never bloody find it oh dear me ah here we go So, yep, we're doing 234 already, and we can go, where are you? It's a bit too early for that. But we are going nice and slow. And uh, as for our descent path, it's lovely. It's lovely, 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 lovely. Perfecto so far. That's 
clouds look really good. I don't like the fact that we're going to fly through the buggers, but yeah. Las de Lethal. I don't know, I have no clue what that means. Yeah, this wake, this, this shimmering heat wave is not on the Phoenix, and it, I think it should be. I really do. Looks like it's got eyelashes here now. No, maybe not. Eyelashes on its butt. <clears throat> arm. Yeah, I know. It's my left arm. Right, so everything is set, isn't it? We've got the frequency set on the ALS. We've got the, the barrow here for the <clears throat> for the decision altitude. We have the inbound course set. All is good. Let's get the range down to 40, I think. Well, actually, no, we'll leave that until we get to the curly bits. Right, so approaching the D-cell. Want to be going on the flaps at such a high altitude? I guess so. <coughs> yeah, but when Beyond ATC comes out, that should fix a lot of stuff. Okay, we're a little bit above. We're a little bit above the flight path, but I'm hoping the plane's... It is, it's, is it correcting it? It is. Bringing it in, look. There we go. Nice. And our runway is here. And the blue here is, in case of a... We have to abort the landing, this is our route out of there. So once we've picked up the glide slope, you can input the 5,000 feet, which is our, you know, altitude we have to uh, ascent, climb to, if uh, we have a failed landing. But I will not be doing that, because I will be landing. Obviously, if, in real life, if the weather was really crap, and you couldn't land, then that would be that. <clears throat> Unless there was a category three option, I guess, in which case we can perform an auto landing. But I don't know, don't they prefer you to maybe do a go around or something or go to a different airport? Or is an auto landing just fine if you've got the ability, which we do. But some runways, I think, are not Category 3, right? I don't know. What do I know? I don't know Jack, man. <laughs> right, now I think we can bring this down to 40 range. The descent path so far is fine. We've got... Oh, bah, 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 we've got... What are we on? 40. So we've got... 30, 30 nautical miles just under to get down to 9,000 or be below 9 and above 8 so somewhere between that and it looks like we're going to make that quite nicely hey Tegnaro eh, I don't know am I good? don't know, don't think so <laughs> yeah need to get my uh pressures sorted out, my pressures. My temperatures are fine, but my pressures need doing. <laughs> Blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Oh, I need to exercise, man. They need a gaming chair where you can pedal on it. You can exercise while you're simming. Hey, there's an idea. An exercise gaming chair. Bike, you get bicycle simulator. 
and you've got pedals on the chair. Oh man. Talk about a cardio workout. Although it might be, well, I was going to say it might be difficult pedaling like on a bike when you sat on a gaming chair, but that'd be something, wouldn't it? The only gaming you could do, or you, yeah, you could do, and and still get a workout is with the Nintendo Wii, right? Because you could use them as bats and or put them in your hands like boxing gloves, and you could get a little workout on those things. Kind of kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to go to flaps five. Daddy, Daddy, look, the flaps are coming down. Yes, Sarah. That's because we're getting ready to land, my dear. Right, coming up to 13,000, so we want the q and H. I'm just going to get a refresh just to make sure. Um, can we get a refresh on this? Do we have to search again? I'm going to go with 996 because that's what it's saying. And there's no refresh on this. Guadalajara. Now then. So 996 is what we want. We can do that very shortly. The landing systems come on. It says drag re required, but okay. I think we're slowing down way too soon. Perhaps not, okay. I can't see the friggin' thing. There we go. Oh, we're well below now. That was ridiculous. <coughs> We've got another decel point before backs it which is okay there so we're currently at flaps 10 we got one two three more stages to go the planes already slowed right down to 166 because I got the flaps out and we're well below flight level but it'll it'll sort itself out I think Oh, it doesn't seem to be. It can't go below 8,000. Or 9,000 at Lula. Well, it, does, it actually... Yeah, there we go. 8, 9,000. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, we're 700 feet below what we should be at now. It asked me to put drag on it. I have also done the flaps too early, I think. But we are a total of uh, 12, 17.7, 18, 
So 17.7, 27.7. Shouldn't be on flaps ten at this stage. This thing needs to uh, level itself out, man. <coughs> this number needs to drop to allow this number to drop. So backs it is 17.7 from the runway, that's okay. This plane needs to start leveling up very shortly. It has to, because it has to be 8,000 or above here. It cannot be, it cannot drop below 8,000 right now. It'll level up pretty quickly, I would say, and then this number needs to drop because we're 1,200 below what we need to be at. This is not... this is way too low. Don't you dare go below 8,000. You're not allowed. Don't do it. I will level you off manually if I have to. to start levelling up now. Okay, she's doing it. Now she'll hold there at least until we get to Lula and by that time this number should shrink. Faster than that would be nice. Good afternoon Andy. Hello sir. Right, so we're on 10. I'll drop it to 15 at the decel point. Traffic. Traffic. Not worried about that. There's no collisions here. <clears throat> Descend. Descend. Oh, he's over there. Above us. What the hell is that? Oh, hello. Hi. See, we were fine. Clear of conflict. I don't like that we are too high. <clears throat> Too low, sorry. Too low. It's not going to matter too much, I don't think, but I prefer that we weren't. So at diesel, I'm going to drop to flaps 15. On the turn, I'll go to 20. Maybe. No. Here, I'll go to 20. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll work it out. <clears throat> so we've got the localizer to our le uh, left of the localizer and we've got the glide slope here. So they, they'll probably center up when we make the turn. This number is worryingly too much. But again we have a 6,000 or above here so can't drop below 6,000. So we've got from where we are now to backs it and to here to stay at 6,000. So that's going to give this a chance to catch up now. I hope. Do 
I even know what I'm doing? No, looks like I don't. <coughs> as long as I get the damn plane down, I don't really care. Once we make this turn, the localizer should line up. And, uh, yeah. Or line up-ish. Enough, anyway, to, to establish it. Localizer is just basically... Yeah, we, we should capture it. Bang on. Um, so the localizer is just... The, let's say the beam that defines where you are, left or right of the center of the runway. And glide slope is your <coughs> descent angle into that runway. So it's lateral and vertical, both things covered. Come on, number, we need you right down. I need this diamond back in the middle again, please. Por favor, thank you very much and good night. It should do it, it should do it. Right, we've got the localizer coming in now. That's because we're getting more in line with the airport, see? The airport is, runway is here, and we're getting more in line with it. And when we, so yeah, you, this is why this is coming in now. So as we make this turn, this diamond should line up lovely, and we should pick up the localizer. I'm now going to hit the approach mode. Can't see Jack out of there, man. They said the visibility was nine, 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 nine. Yeah, I don't think so. And look at that flight path, baby. Perfect. Right. So next thing is we need this. We're, we're below the glide slope, so we need to we need to just stay where we are, and the glide slope should come to us. Once this comes down, we'll be lowered at the moment. So we're going to intercept it a little bit later. What did I put here? Four eight. That's going to make us intercept it even later, later, isn't it? It is coming to us though. And once it gets it, this 4.8 is not going to matter anymore. Come on, babe. Oh, jeez. What have we got out here? I might keep this plane at 6,000, you know. Or at least... Let's make it 5. Because I, I do know I want it 3,000. I want it 3,000 above the airport. Come on, glide slope. There we go. It's captured. I've got it. It's that's good enough. It's happy with that. Yay! So where are we? FI. Okay, so we're at FI, and we've got 12 nautical miles to go, and we're at flaps. 15. But we'll get it down to... Now what? Are you whinging because you want the gear down? It's too early, man. Okay. I'll put the gear down. Just so I don't have to listen to that thing whinge. By the time you get to flaps 15 and a certain altitude, if you don't have the gear down, um, it, it likes to have a whinge. Okay, so landing lights should have been on ages ago. I can't see. Oh yeah, okay. I don't really see the lights yet, though. We're still nine nautical miles away, <coughs> so it's a bit early to put the gears down, but... <coughs> yeah, no, speed's okay. 
and also uh, we, we haven't got final stage of flaps in yet but that's okay we'll get that in in a minute it is raining they didn't say that on the meta but there you go so I think at seven nautical miles we'll get the final stage of flaps down and then we're, we're ready also let's arm the speed brakes and go flaps 30 and that's it the rest is up to me <coughs> plane is fully configured for landing now I don't know whether to let the plane do it here because my visibility is a bit shite Let's see. You don't need both autopilots on for an auto landing. Actually, it's, it's clearing a little bit. But as for visibility 9999, uh, I'm going to disagree with that one. It is clearing up though. I can't see which runway we're heading for because I, I see runways, but it doesn't look. doesn't look like it. oh it is it is on the correct angle okay it looked like it was a bit skewered to the side there hey Madrid my old friend oh it's a wind isn't it it's the wind that's causing us to be a little bit skewy yeah look we've got a 23 a 23 knot wind pushing the tail around a little that's why we're not perfectly lying so we've got a crosswind guys Oh, fun and joy. Look at that. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Bring it on, baby. I might take over a little bit later than usual. So I'm guessing this is the that height from the runway for height from the ground. This is our altitude. This is our height from the ground, because obviously, as we said, the runway is 2,000 feet up. Yeah, we just bring it in and then just twist the plane around at the end. Come on, don't get stuttery now. Dare I take over now? I'm feeling it now. Wow. Oh, yes. I can feel the wind, she said. Plus 100. Oh, dear. Minimums. We're fine. Just a little bit low, but we're fine. 50 feet on the zebra crossing. High. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Ooh, okay. I'm letting the front wheels float a little. Oh, that was a that was a bit a bit hard. Man, we had a bit of a crosswind though. Those noises might sound a bit noisier than normal because we've got FS realistic running. It was a bit of a bumpy landing, but we got there. Okay, so now as for getting to our I don't know which taxiway it is. <coughs> Landing lights off. Isn't that voice awful? Alpha 
By the time I've read that back, my dear, I'm already at the gates. You're insane. You're insane. Find a clearer, find a shorter route. You're mad. How far have I got to go? That's insane. There must be a shortcut. <laughs> oh my goodness. You people are all crazy. Bringing the flaps in now. Yeah, I'm going to work what she said. Yankee for Mike three four beta one two whatever Bravo one two beta where did I get where did I get beta from Bravo one two Echo Charlie November one eleven no, uh, yeah that how about uh, uh, loitering is a crime punishable by death that's easier Jesus we're following this Iberia flight in. Is this a big bump? Oh, wonderful. Well, we've got a bump, guys, in this airport. This is going to go well. What do I have to do now? Speed up a little to get us above it? Sorry, plane. Yeah, I think we did hit the engines on the ground there. <laughs> okay, uh, welcome to, yeah, Madrid. Okay, so two things about the landing. Firstly, uh, I was a, it was a bit high initially. Um, I, I, I did touch down a bit later than planned, but I guess that happens on a daily basis, so I'm okay with that. Um, I, I had to plonk the thing down quite hard. Uh, the crosswinds were not helping, so I just wanted to plonk it down. So I just, at 30 feet, I just dropped the, dropped the uh, throttle and just let it go into idle and let it just drop from there. Normally you should do it from 20, but I did it from 30, just let it drop. And then the wheel was about to go down, the front wheel, and I just let it go up again, float a bit more. I didn't want it to come down so quick because it looked like it was going to be a fairly hard one. So I brought it up and let it go, come back down again, but eh, it all worked out. Whatever. It was a little bit floaty-ish. Man, where are you taking me? I think we're following that Iberia plane, aren't we? I didn't realise Madrid... I know it's the nation's capital and all that stuff, but... I didn't think it was this big. And the one time I've actually landed at Madrid Airport, I didn't... You don't get to look around and see how big it is. I have no idea where my parking bay is. I can't see anything lit up.
caught this guy up. Shush. So no rain here, but there was rain on the outskirts, wasn't there, coming in on the on the final approach. It was a little bit rainy. Come on, plane. I guess we're going to wherever this guy's going. It was a long readout, though, wasn't it? Jeez, when, when we landed and request taxis to the gates, Jesus, fucking hell. She read out the whole chapter to me. I knew we were in for a bit of a long one. So, we've got grass growing there. Tussock. It's tussock. Should we scan it? No. Okay. <laughs> I haven't got my. I haven't got my sampler. <laughs> I've got tussock growing. Or is it frutexa? <laughs> oh god. Game overlap. Why is tussock? Is it tussock or frutexa, guys? I can't quite. <laughs> Look at it all! This runway needs a shave. Man, the size of Madrid. Once I get to the uh, jetway, I'm going to have a look at the aerial shot of this place. It looks freaking huge, man. I mean, when we landed on the runway, there was a terminal right there, and now there's one all the way down here. But fair enough. I still can't quite see my, my space. Oh, we're going this way now. Oh my god. Taking me to the to the sheds, to the hangar to get my my wheels repaired. Where are we going? <laughs> this is the longest taxi I've ever done. Getting a bit of speed up here now. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I think we're going to be in Madrid centre pretty soon. Oh, it's big, isn't it? Yeah, that's a big one. Oof, mama. I didn't realise this was such a massive airport, but it is. Just 
just twisting the joystick like this is really making my wrist ache. Oh. My old ticket holds out, it'll be uh, sim racing tomorrow. Don't know what time the Notch Life was getting released, but probably knowing Kunos about 4 or 5 p.m. my time. I hope I'm ready for it. Well, we've got jetways close to us now. So hopefully that means the parking will come soon. There it is. What an unbelievably long taxi that was. <laughs> Can you imagine being a passenger though, having to wait that long after landing? You're wondering whether the people who are waiting for you are still going to be there. Or they've probably gone home by now. Or they'll be tired of waiting. Right, there's a turn off here for sure, there we go. Whoa, I'm sure I heard the handbrake click. Engines off. Oh my goodness. Wowzers. In trousers. Well, eventually I can now properly say welcome to Madrid. Jesus. Do you know what I like about the, the, the new uh, Phoenix though, is the way that it now integrates with GSX as well, which is cool. It'll deboard and do all the thing for you and even do the fueling for you. It's so good. It, it really is. The boarding requested. Uh, let's go with Iberia, because that's what my plan is. Oh, we've actually got the coordinates here. Is this actually working here? The, this is called the VSDG, I think, uh, or VDGS. Yeah, Visual Display Guidance System, I think, something like that. This one doesn't seem to be functional, but it was in uh, Barcelona. So yeah, Iberia, there you go. It's supposed to be Iberia White. Didn't it say Iberia White? Oh, it doesn't matter. Is that back door going to open or does it... Oh yeah. No one's getting out the back, we have a jetway. Now, if it was stairs on the front, you could, you could have people coming out the back way, but no one's coming out the back. Oh, madre. Right, let's go and get the ground power on, so we're going to have to request that, I think. Um, now, unlike the Phoenix, where you can do it from in here, we have to do it from here. And set the chocks on, request ground power, 
And the moment we have that, it should light up here. There it is. And we switch on to ground power and then come off the APUs. I'll just turn the APU off. Fuel pumps off. Mama just killed a man. I've made an agreement with the passengers not to tell anybody outside that they were all suffocated during the flight. So they're all keeping that quiet. In return, their next flight will be free. Which is fair. Right, let's take a look. What the hell are we looking at here? This airport is massive. Oh, actually, I don't need GSX, sorry. All right. Uh, reset. Right, so we're at this, we've got this little bit here, which goes all the way over there. But then, oh, wait a minute, where's the rest of it? So you got the control tower here, and then another load here. It would have been nice if we got a thing. Look at this thing, whoa! That's nice. Is there people in here? Ah, it doesn't look like it. Oops. Oh, there, there is. There's a dude there. He's got his weather map going. Are you on your own? Look at the stairs. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Where'd that come from? So yeah, overall... I don't want to get too much... Yeah, it's a pretty big airport. So you've got this, just basically this section here. And then whatever those buildings are. And then we've got our section here. Imagine living here though. Oh, housing prices here must be shitey. And that is Madrid. All the way over here. Yes, sir, indeedy. Industrial estate there. I wonder if I recognize anything. Hmm. It's been a long time since I've been in Madrid. It's huge. Don't know what those buildings are at all. So, KMP, uh, KPMG, PMDG. No links there. Sure. The house I lived in in Torladonis must be on here too. I think I've looked for it before. This is the Real Madrid, um, yeah, the Real Madrid football so, uh, arena. Empty at the moment because nobody's playing. But the, the, the details that they actually have this stuff is amazing. I'd take a tour of the city while my passengers are getting off. I think there's a place called Calle Real as well, which is like the main road. And then uh, Plaza... Oh, what was it called? There's a square, right, that I, I went to. Uh, it's, it's kind of the hub of where people go when it's... Um, New Year's Eve. Banco Bilbao Vizcaya. There we go. That's what that is. That's another Spanish bank. And then you've got 60% uh, <coughs> off on a sale. El oh, I, that, yeah, that green triangle. 
That's uh, the that's El Corte Inglés. Oh, there it is. The English Court, it stands for. El Corte Inglés. It's a big supermarket, massive. The Bajas is like sales, so it's got like minus 60. No percent sign, I noticed, just minus 60. So it's 60% off at El Corte Inglés. Wow, nice. What? The rings of Saturn. I mean, what is this? I, I I seem to remember this glitch from a while ago. It used to be like a great big building thing, a big piece of stone, but now it's just lines. There's some geometry issue there that they still haven't fixed. Is this the motorway that I used to drive on to get I don't know which way I'm facing. If this is facing north or northwest, then it could be. This could be the road that I used to drive on to get home. Oh, it doesn't show me where I am then, does it? Right, let's get this camera back to the aeropuerto. Okay, well there you go guys. Yeah, they're not quite on the jetway. The jetway's buggered off. Why is the jetway left? Oh well. Let's cut, let's get rid of this dude. There we go. Yeah, there, there you go. Safe, safely down and uh, that is it. That's just weird. Barcelona to Madrid. Guys, thank you very much. I will catch you shortly. We'll get an Elite Dangerous stream on the go. Probably do a an account mix on this one. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> see what people on the chat think. So yeah, I'll see you with Elite Dangerous shortly. I'll just go and uh, take a breather and then we'll be back with Elite quite soon so stay tuned keep hitting that f5 <laughs> um, yeah thanks guys appreciate your time see you in a short while bye bye